everyone, welcome to my crochet empire. It's Oche here. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing how to make this raglan sweater and shrek tutorials. These are the materials and some notes for you to check out. So let's get started. I am using a 100% cotton size 2 yarn for both color and 4mm crochet hook. First off, you are going to make a slip knot and make a foundation chain that is equal to 11 inches. I made 88 chains in here. Now this really depends on personal preference and you can make any amount of chains as long as your head can fit through. After you have done making the amount of chains as you like, you have to join with a slip stitch to make a ring. And try not to trace the chains when joining with a slip stitch. You can lay flat like that and tail the end and join with a slip stitch at the end. And don't forget to try on to see if your head can fit through. Now we can start our round sequence, so chain 3 and this is count as a treble crochet. You have to make treble crochet in every chain till the end. I highly recommend to use the stitch marker and mark at the top of chain 3 so that you can easily find where to slip stitch at the end of the row. Now I am doing the last travel crochet in the last chain. And you can now do the slip stitch into the top of chain 3 that we just marked with the stitch marker. What I'm going to do is lay flat your stitches and fold it in half and the seam has to be right in the middle like I show and the seam is where you put your stitch marker where you end the row and uh, we are going to put four stitch marker at the four corner of the sweater to make the increases. To do that you have to measure two inches from the side like that and I'm gonna show you how. So 2 inches from the side and you're gonna put the stitch marker right here. Both on the front and back side, you have to put the stitch marker on the same excess spot. I'm using with my bobby pins because I lost my stitch markers. But anyways, in here for both sides, you have to come from the side and put a stitch marker where 2 inches end. And do the same excess thing on the other side, on the back side. After you have put your stitch marker, it has to be like that on the same spot on front and back side. Don't forget to do the same for the other side. You should have 4 stitch markers in total. Well, we can start our round 2, so chain 3. Turn your work and always don't forget to turn your work and this is the only way that we can get the perfect CN for our sweater. Then do the first treble crochet and put a stitch marker like we did before. Continue doing the treble crochet in each stitch until you get to the stitch marker. When you get to the stitch marker, remove that stitch marker so that it is more comfortable for you to do the stitches. Now we are going to do the increase. To do that, you have to put one treble crochet, chain one, and another treble crochet in the same stitch. We just finished our very first increase and you have to repeat doing the treble crochet in every stitch until you get to the next stitch marker and do this increase method and then treble crochet again and 
increase my debt when you get to another stage marker. So you have to repeat this process for like four times in a row and slip stitch at the end. I'm gonna show you one more time how to do the increase. So when you get to the stitch marker, you have to do the treble crochet, chain one and treble crochet in the same stitch. So there will be like three steps in the same stitch. Repeat the process like I said and slip stitch at the end. So repeat row 2 and you're gonna put the increase on the previous increase you just did. I'm gonna show you how you can do that. So treble crochet in every stitch until you get to the previous increase. When you get there, you have to put the treble crochet like normal on the very first treble crochet you just did. You're gonna put the treble crochet, chain 1, treble crochet increase in that chain space. And treble crochet in the chain space, chain 1 and treble crochet in the same chain space like that you just have to repeat that that is so simple so we just did the the increase and you have to repeat that when you get to another increase now i'm gonna explain the details of striped pattern in here, as you can see, we have same amounts of rows, but their heights are slightly different. That's because I use different stitches for the stripes to give it a shorter and longer look. So it'll be like treble crochet for color is stripe and double crochet for color be stripe. Then you just need to repeat that pattern and do the increases at four corners to shape the sweater. Basically, you can use any type of stitch or only treble crochet or double crochet as your choice. But if you want to make your sweater just exactly like mine, you have to alternate from treble crochet to double crochet. Right now, you have to attach a new color. Don't finish the whole treble crochet stitch and when you left with two loops on your hook, grab a new color, yarn over, pull through and slip stitch. It's the start of our color B stripe. So chain 3, turn your work and double crochet until you get to the previous increase. When you get there, you have to make double crochet, chain 1 and double crochet in the chain space. Just like we did with our treble crochet. The increase method is the same for all the rows. Continue double crochet and increases for the rest of the corners. Repeat the color A and color B stripe patterns until you get your under armpit. And I reach my under armpit at 5 inches but you can adjust the length as you're liking. This is how you can measure your under armpit. Try it on to see how many rows do you need to reach your under armpit and stop the increase when you get to this spot right here. 
We can now put our sleeves right here at the sides. Your seam has to be facing you right in the middle. Normally start your row by chain 3. Turn and double crochet until you get to the increase. Put the double crochet into the stitch before the chain space and make 10 chains or whatever it fits your arms. Do the double crochet into the stitch before chain space of the back side. We are connecting the front and back side. Before we continue, you need to try it on to see if the sleeve is comfortable and not tight. If you are satisfied with your sleeve, turn your work as we are not going to work on our sleeve for now. So turn your work and continue double crochet until you get to the increase of another corner. When you get there, repeat the same and turn your work again. Double crochet until the end and slip stitch. So this is our back side and the seam is here. So we're gonna do our sleeves. Steady from here to put the seam on the back side as well. So I'm gonna show you how to attach the yarn. The seam has to be facing you and attach the yarn right here. I'm doing my color is stripe, so I'm using the white color. So chain three. You have to do the treble crochet into every space in chains. And also into the V increase we just did. Continue doing treble crochet in every stitch around until you get to these chains. So again, don't forget to do the treble crochet into the V space as well. You need to do the treble crochet in every single one of these chains and slip stitch at the end. As we are making the long sleeve sweater, we have to proceed the normal striped pattern without any increases along the row. So, 3 rows of treble crochet with color A and 3 rows of double crochet with color B repeatedly. You can stop that when you get your desired sleep length. And repeat the same for other side. Other measurements are mentioned earlier so you can take reference from it. If you are making the sweater version, you have to proceed the normal stride pattern for the body portion as well. But if you are not, you can just stop when you finish the sleeve. I'm here to update the progress of my raglan sweater and I ran out of the yarn. Let me show you. So this is the this is my progress so far. I can find the same exact color of yarn for this and 
So I am thinking to sacrifice this top, frog it. I'm thinking to sacrifice this top and frog it. I'm gonna show you how it looks like on the screen. But to be able to finish this top, to get to show you guys the final look, I have to frog this to get the more yarn out of it. But the problem is that I'm not sure that it will be. I'm not sure if there will be enough yarn even after I frog it. It's quite risky. And but this is the only choice. This is the only option to get more yen. So yeah, let's just frog it. I'm here to show you how I frog. Okay. Oh my god, where's the end? It's a problem. It's hard to find the end. You weave in. You trying your best to weave in. Two thousand years later. So this is the amount of yarn I got from frogging. It took me about one hour to find the ends and finish frogging. So hopefully this will be the enough yarn to finish the sweater. Mm -hmm.